A condition that is often hard to diagnose and can develop without symptoms is deep vein thrombosis. Symptoms of DVT may include pain, swelling, tenderness, discoloration or redness of the affected area, skin that is warm to the touch. PreventDVT.org reports that because a number of other conditions including muscle strains, skin infections, and phlebitis display similar symptoms, DVT requires specific tests. Dr. Charlie Hahn of Vanes, Florida explains how certain people are at higher risk of developing DVT than others. Uh, deep vein thrombosis is the clots that are uh, located within the deeper vein, usually they're in the pelvis. And those clots uh, uh, can travel to the lungs, which can cause pulmonary embolism. If patients have a uh, disposition to standing for a long time, say a cashier or a nurse, if you can, uh, try to sit and elevate your leg as much as you can during the day and give yourself a break and also wearing stocking, which has higher pressure than, than the vein pressure. And that can prevent uh, varicose veins from developing. They can prevent uh, the varicose veins to get worse. Potential dangers is when you start noticing uh, at the end of the day, after the long day war, uh, the, you know, standing up, and your leg gets really swollen, especially around the ankle and the lower part of the leg. And uh, also they tend to ache when you put your foot down at the end of the day when you're sitting on the sofa. And uh, also you notice some skin changes. Instead of nice looking skin, they tend to be kind of rusty looking and uh, start having uh, small ulcers. And those are the warning signs. We've included links to the DVT risk assessment test as well as contact information for Veins Florida when you click the Diagnosing DVT Story Link icon on our homepage, yourhometownhealth.com.